eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. I want to see you. Hello, boys and girls. And thank you, everybody, for singing with me. I heard you. I heard you. So thank you so much for always clapping, singing with me. I love your participation. So, good morning, and guess what? Yes, I'm starting with another question. <laughs> so typical. So, have you ever heard of the phrase, seeing is believing? Okay, we've got some yeses in here. Okay, yes. So, it's, it's pretty familiar, pretty common. I have heard this many times, and I still question it. Sometimes I'm like, okay, yeah, maybe. Like, I see that there's light, so there's light, okay? So, but I question it. I wrestle with it a lot. And remember, we've been talking about this. It's totally okay to have questions. Seeing is believing means that somebody may not believe something is real until they see it with their own eyes. So I'll give you some examples. Not all, but some people may say, since I cannot see air, I don't believe it's real. That's a little ridiculous, but. Or maybe they'll say something like, hmm, maybe... I can't see a good life. I can't see an awesome life. Maybe I'll never live an awesome life. Or maybe they'll even say, I didn't see Jesus die on the cross. I don't believe he's real, and I don't believe he came to die for the forgiveness of sins. Now, I've heard that one a lot, and that one really frightens me. Now, I have another question. Have you ever heard the word doubt? Okay, that's also pretty common. Doubt basically means the same thing. It's when people struggle to believe something. And doubt happens all the time. Even I doubt things sometimes. When I was in college, it wasn't easy. I was like, okay, am I really going to graduate? Am I really going to finish this assignment? I made it. Everyone doubts. So today I want to tell you about a time that um, even the disciples doubted. Even his own followers doubted. So Jesus does not want us to think like this. He, doesn't, he wants us to believe even without seeing sometimes. He wants us to not doubt and put our trust in him. He wants us to know that he is real and the dreams that we want, the dreams that, the life that we want. He wants us to believe that that can be real as well. And don't feel guilty for having questions and don't feel guilty for doubting. We've been talking about this. It's okay to have those certain feelings from time to time. But I want, to, I want to share some scripture. Uh, we learn a lot from scripture, and we learn about how Jesus wants us to think and feel. So let's go back to Luke. Luke 24, verses 45 through 46 says, Then he opened their minds so they could understand the scriptures. He told them, This is what is written. The Messiah will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. This is telling us that his own followers, that people that walked with him daily and learned from him, even they doubted, even seeing him with their own eyes. That's wild. Jesus wanted his disciples to know that the life that he lived and his promises were real. And guess what? It doesn't just stop there. He wants us to know that he is listening to our prayers. He's still alive. He's still listening. He wants us to know that the strength that it takes to love our neighbors is real and it's in us. And most importantly, Jesus wants us to know that God really loves us. That love is real. The life that we want to live, that awesomeness that we can attain, that's real because of Jesus, because of God, because of the love and the strength that is real in us. Isn't it just such a blessing to be so loved by the real God? That, that's just such a blessing. Will you all pray with me? Thank you, Jesus, for being so real, Lord. 
Thank you for dying for our sins, Jesus, and blessing us with life. Thank you, Lord, for blessing us with enough strength and love that we can share it with our neighbors, Lord. In your mighty name, we pray, Jesus. Amen.